Hey Onzev here, welcome to Into Black Overview. Mmm, at last some fresh and juicy release. I'm not totally surprised, cause the same team was behind Resist, which was also an awesome project. And I love that they're continuing their trend of instant quest hits. So Into Black is a space action adventure game, where you become a lone wanderer on the edge of nowhere, traveling across the universe and getting stuck on a mysterious alien planet, and organize your escape before incoming danger. This game is compiling a lot of genres and features all together. First and foremost, it's a campaign story based experience that invites you to the crash site and shows you your soon to be main task, which is just to go away as soon as possible. Then it is enhanced by the option that you can play it in a co-op mode and that automatically makes it next level because not so many games that lean into story present you such possibility and going by the trend that everything seems better when you're playing with someone on top of the already good game, a recipe for success is pretty much imminent. With the technicalities, the graphics are very decent for the platform, fluid mechanics that are very fun to execute and brings you some vertical type of gameplay. Environments are enormous and you really feel immersed in the whole setting. And honestly, much more that I just scrapped the surface of the project. In total, I was very much impressed of what I've seen. It will for sure be a playthrough on the channel whenever I'll have the possibility to do so. But I'm overall happy for the dev team that they came back with such a banger. In the midst of App Lab merge chaos, that's what we've needed. Let's go discover the asteroid. You awake, Mitch? We're almost there. Roger. Good morning! Cup of coffee to start your day? No oh, thanks, Jonathan. How about a baguette? Are you racist? Well, it's fine, I'm French, almost. <laughs> this looks very... unusually sharp. Like, I can't see any blurriness going on. And that situation was happening in... Resist? I would have to do the research if this is the same developer as well. Wow! It's also like the art style is... semi cell shading Ada, how close are we to the asteroid? Coming up on it in a minute. Oh, not again. What's the problem? It's that faulty engine coupling. I'll take a look. This looks flat. <laughs> but it's for sure the binary mill because... I can recognize the style of voiceover. Manual labor, eh? Shall I prepare your dungarees? No, thank you, Jonathan. That's some weird distance calculations. This should be fixable. It doesn't need fixing, it needs replacing. I told you that at the last spaceport. And I told you we couldn't afford it. Oh, but we could afford a stupid little personal assistant robot. But Jonathan has been very helpful so far, all right? Sorry to intrude, sir, but it's almost time for your morning bathroom break. Shall I pre-warm the toilet seat? That should do it. It'll hold, for now. Get back to the bridge. We're coming up on that asteroid. It's absolutely resist creators. Similar puzzle mechanics. Dropping out of warp in three, two, one. There it is. Archimedes. Any idea what it is yet? A scan will confirm, but I believe this might be the first recorded instance of naturally occurring dark matter. This could be the big one. This looks flawless. 
one of the best cosmos ever. Lone Echo doesn't count, okay? The energy signature is so faint. It's a miracle we were able to detect it at all. You mean a miracle I was able to detect it? Now, now, we're a team on this ship. This is everyone's discovery. That said, I'm definitely claiming all the glory. We're in scanner range. Fascinating. This matter seems to possess unique characteristics. Almost as if... What's wrong? Is it that coupling again? No, it's an energy surge. Engaging thrusters. Energy surge? From where? It's the dark matter. It appears to be undergoing some kind of fusion. It's expanding too fast. Activating warp drive. What the hell is that? Jumping in three, two... What's going on? Hey there, can you hear me? What can be this? Whoa! Good morning! What the hell? Problem, Captain? The ship is on fire! Indeed! Might I suggest a fire extinguisher? Ada, status report! Ada? I think she was damaged in the crash. It crashed? The last thing I remember was being sucked into that whatever it was. Luckily, I was able to stay online and ready for action. So what happened to us? No idea. I was in the back doing laundry. <laughs> what? The power is out. Jonathan, I need you to do something for me. I could probably manage a cold brew, sir. I need you to access ship systems and tell me why the power is out. Right. Um, let's see here. Aha! It looks as though something called the power matrix is damaged. I'll take a look. Can you fix it? I think so, but I need some materials. Looks like we're going on a scavenger hunt. We? Oui? Let's hope some of my tools survived the crash. Pickaxe and a torch. It'll have to do. Jonathan, prepare the ship for an emergency Xenoterran egress. Emergency... uh... what? It just opened the doors on the lower deck. This is like the main hub. Or will be. <laughs> Interesting transition. This is huge. What the? I'm kind of gagged. Ground seems stable enough. Gravity slightly lower than Earth normal. Any idea where we are? Hmm. If I had to guess, I'd say we're in some sort of cave. Thanks. The light even reaches far parts of the environment, like... This has very much a Vertigo vibe. Hey, come back here. All right, because we're in space. <laughs> It just happened. <laughs> wow. It seems like everything has special interactions. Performance is also seamless. Ooh, is this copper? The big crystal-shaped thing? I'd say it's probably a crystal. 
A crystal? Marvelous. <laughs> I feel like a real explorer. Illuminated. Perfect. Now all we need is some copper. The ship was looking pretty banged up. Do you really think we can fix it? At the very least, we can get Ada back online. Maybe send out an SOS call. I'd like to give that AI a piece of my mind. Leaving the ship into the Bermuda Quadrant like that. Dreadfully irresponsible. The Bermuda... The, the what? Oh, you know, the Bermuda Quadrant. The region of space where ships always disappear. What on earth are you talking about? Haven't you read Beyond Science magazine? It covers all the good stuff. Aliens, disappearing ships, the galactic Illuminati. You really should try to stay more informed, you know. I'll keep that in mind. I love the mechanics. It's so fun. I know. <laughs> But the targeting system is a bit questionable. Mushrooms! Finally, my area of expertise! You recognize the species? Well, uh, no, but if you grab a few, I can whip you up a tasty risotto. I'll hold off on eating alien mushrooms for now. This biomass should come in handy. If every scavenging game would have features like that, then it would be just pure pleasure. Like, it's so easy. I say, it's getting awfully dark in here. Does that torch go any brighter? Let me try a flare. I know, no, thank you. I already discovered half of the tutorial. We can also keep it. It doesn't feel scary though, somehow. Really wish I had a weapon right now. Oh, you have, don't worry. It's like everything needs up. More luminite. I'll grab it. You look for some copper. You wouldn't rather I stay close by? It's an empty cavern. There's nothing here that can hurt you. All the same. Let's be quick about this, okay? Now let's see. If I was some copper, where would I be? Aha! I think I found it. Back here, behind this large, uh, skull-shaped rock. Yeah, it's not suspicious at all. What the hell is this even? This is actually copper. Nice work. This should be enough to fix that power matrix. Oh, the cave is collapsing! Run! Relax, it's just seismic activity. I've been through worse. Uh. 
Does seismic activity usually roar like that? Let's get back to the ship. On it. I can't even dash, the hell? Is it just me, or are those sounds getting closer? Hard to say. With the echoes in these caves, it could be miles away. Just sprint. Or not. Run! Pass this? Oh, wow. And it's fine, I have super dashes. We're trapped! Every fought for themselves! Oh, shit! Get back here! Oh. You killed it! I did? I mean, yes, I did. All part of the plan. Uh-huh. He was screaming every bot for themselves and running away all <gasps> part of the plan? A cunning ruse to fool the beast, of course. Let's get the ship back online. I love that he went through the door and then come to me. <laughs> That's something. Should just take a second. That's better. Well done. All right, I need a damage report. According to this, the AI processor is completely fried, ship sensors are damaged, and the drive core is gone. But the good news is my easy listening playlist survived. What do you mean the drive core is gone? You mean damaged? Nope, I mean gone. That's impossible. Come take a look for yourself. Okay. Is that like a instance or something? The drive core, it's gone. Imagine that. How is that possible? According to the ship's logs, it disappeared just before impact. I need to think for a second. <coughs> Jonathan, not now. Uh, sorry. The core can't have gone far. You said sensors were down. Can we do a local scan? I think so. It's worth a shot. Prep the navcon. Ready when you are. No core, I'm afraid. No, but this cave, those are quartz readings, right? I believe so. We can use that to repair the sensor array and run a full scan. I'll need some more gear, though. Can you bring the fabricator online? Consider it done. That's interesting that a campaign-based game has difficulty levels depending on the level. <laughs> That's a first. But it's also a co-op based experience, so that's why you have different options. This is it? Where are all the schematics? The database was damaged in the crash. Uh, this is all that was salvageable. Mining laser it is, then. Hmm. 
There's a lot of genres mixed in this game. Let's just hope we don't run into any more of those worms. Some kind of Dungeons of Eternity in space as well. Okay, let's get in, grab the quartz, and get out. Fire up the teleporter, please, Jonathan. Teleporter? You expect us to dig through half a mile of solid rock? No, no, of course not. I'll have this sorted lickety-split. That's so interesting. Weirdly, I love it, or maybe not necessarily, because there's so many good things going on here. If it's with the graphics, features, mechanics, everything is on point. Very cool setting as well, because you have an option to do, I guess, everything solo or in a co-op scenario, which feels then as a roguelike, but you also have a story mode around. Online matches, co-op, upgrades, it has it all, like, it's very weird that something like that goes under the radar I would even treat it as some kind of vertigo, but for the quest platform. To me it's just extremely cool and I expect no less from this development studio. I will most likely continue this because there's a lot of potential. I don't know when, but it will happen eventually, don't you worry.